Bonjourdo! Welcome back to Southampton Career Mode, everybody. We are on the run of some fantastic results. Some really amazing results. We're sitting pretty, top of the table, miles ahead of the other lot. And we just got off the back of a 1-0 victory away at Real Madrid. And what did the fans say? They didn't give a shit. They said up the difficulty. We're already on sliders. This is what we're already on. Their shot error is already 41. That's already really good. I mean, I feel like when they get through on goal, they score. So I'm not going to put that down too much. I mean, we'll have that onto 37. These, I mean, subtle changes are big. Pass error. They don't make too many errors in passing. But I guess, again, 37. Run frequency. Okay, we can up this to fucking 67. Fuck it. That's their biggest problem. They don't fucking run enough. Maybe their line height could drop a bit. So there we go. The CPU should now be superb. And if we go and lose these next games 5-0, don't point the finger at me. So, home against Spurs. This episode, we do have a few big, big games. Spurs at home. Then we've got Benfica away, which I had a fucking horrible game at home against. You know, it was like 2 all, and then we won in like the last minute, 3-2. Then we've got Chelsea away, which we lost 3-1. So... At home against Spurs, this is going to be a big test for us. Especially now that I'm basically playing on fucking ultra ultra legendary. Alright team, we're going with Sanabria is up front. Amiri, Bran, Chiesa, Romeo, Gretzka, Cedric, De Vrij, Hood and Bertrand with Lafont in goal. That is our pretty much our solid team. That's, our, that's the best counter-attack team we have to offer. Julian, Bran, Julian, 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 Bran. Legend. Great player for this club. Wanker. Okay, Spurs are doing all right in the league, fourth place, with the two Manchester clubs all on 16 points. Strength versus strength, 22 goals scored, best in the Premier League. Seven goals conceded, best in the Premier League. What does that mean? Does that mean they've got the best defensive record? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Best defence against the best attack. Let's do this, Spurs. It's Harry Kane up front. It's Dele Alli at number 10 with Eriksen, Son, Wanyama, Dembele. It is a very strong Spurs team. Yep, the, the top sides are really stopping... You know, treating us like a little bitch and resting players against us. They are really bringing out the big guns. So it's time to go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spurs on ultra difficulty. Cedric powering down the right-hand side of Tottenham. I can see Julian Brandt arriving at that back post. Will he get there? Oh, Aurier heads it. Good competition between those two today. Ball gets swung in. Big head. It is from De Vries. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. It was powerful. Chaser. Into Gretzka. Into Romeo, who dinks it in the air. To Amiri. Into Sanabria. Takes the touch. Oh, hits it hard at Lloris. Aurier wins the header again and puts it out. Wow, we don't have a free kick taker. When Gretz when Board Prowse isn't on the pitch, so we'll go hard with Gretzka. Yeah, oh, good save from Lloris. Great effort from Gretzka. Hello. Hello, Harry Kane. Moves it inside to Deli Ali. Lafont. Oh, Lafont, you've got to be quicker, lad. He hesitated. Deli Alli gets the goal and it's so annoying. We've been all over Spurs. It's been all us. We've just not put the ball in the goddamn net. That man is supposed to be a Saints fan. Yeah, Harry Kane moves into Deli Bally. Deli Bally. Deli Alli. Gigantic gap in the centre half. Don't know what the hell's going on there for the boys. Very poor. Poor from Lafont. Not off his line quick enough. And we go 1 0 down. It's Romeo who powers it in behind. And look, lads, we really need to start capitalising on this. Aurier is just being up high up the pitch. Oh, Bran skips away from the challenge. Skips past another one. Hits it. Yes, Bran. I love you. Oh, yes. Great run. I said we need to punish them. And we did. Great solo run from Bran. Aurier is well high up the pitch. I don't know what he's doing. So many times we've been able to counter down that space. And Sanchez dives in. Brand's too quick. Gets away from him. Cuts it inside. Great finish. Eriksen, Deli Alli. Back to... Ga oh, my, oh, my God. Oh, great tackle from Hood there. Into play from Harry Kane and Deli Alli. Was very scary. And it's still with them. Back to Dembele. Swings it wide to Homming Sun. Homming Sun. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't give away penalty. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Oh, my God. Here's Bran. Moves it inside to Amiri. Amiri pulls out a little roulette. He's not phased by Tottenham. Come on. Oh, uh, ref. Ref, there's a foul in there. Ref's not seen it. Ref, there's a gigantic man trying to attack me. Bran shifts it. Great ball. Amiri. Oh, what a goal. No, it's been given as Bran's goal. What's happened here? Did that just float straight in? Oh, my word. Well, I don't know what the hell has happened here. Bran. It was a great pick out because Amiri was on side. 
Little chop back, times it perfectly. Goes in here. I think I think he just completely misses it, Amiri, and that, that confuses Lloris. Here we go. We'll be able to see if there's a slight touch on it here. With this angle, comes down here. And, yep, Amiri completely misses it. <laughs> it's Brand's goal. Here we go with Chaser now. Chaser opening up his legs. Amiri wide. Chaser lays it up for Bran. Can he drive in here? He can. Can he hit that shot? Oh, what a finish. It's a hat-trick. It's a hat-trick for Julian Bran. The second one was extremely dodgy. But the third is a beauty. What a run. He's just, look, where's Aurier? The, the sole reason he's done so well because Aurier has just been missing. He's just been so far up the pitch. And Bran is a guy you have to mark because he's devastating. Triple substitution. We'll get Tammy, Bram, Lamina and Cliver on because we need to rest some players for the Champions League games that we've got coming up now and keep the energy strong. Last 15 minutes to hold on in this game. We go wide to Gretzka. Inside to Romeo. Romeo gets it wide to Cliver. Cliver hits it and he's put it in the top corner. 4-1 against Spurs. I've upped the difficulty. Fuck everybody. What a finish that was. Excellent finish from Cliver. The Southampton fans love it. Ball gets sent wide here by Romeo. And then he just side foots it, guides it right into the top corner. What a finish. Here's Lamina. Lamina Dembele trying to stop him. But Lamina drives on, sends it wide into Chiesa. Chiesa lays it off. Tammy Abraham powers it straight at Lloris. What have I told you about this, Tammy? Yes. Almighty win at home to Spurs. I mean, it was quite a tight game initially. We, they scored, we came back from 1-0 down to destroy them 4-1. I mean, Julian Brand, the space today was all because of Aurier. Aurier was extremely offensive, gave that man so much space, and he is devastating. And he destroyed them on the counter-attack. There's that man that I said was a Saints fan. He's back in the bloody Saints corner again. Okay, dokily. Training session. Amiri's shot power goes up to 75. Anything else? Tammy Abraham, 77 positioning. Nice. All right, here we go. Champions League game midweek. It's on the 7th of November, which, by the way, guys, is my birthday. So, pull that down in your calendars. The way things stand in the group is we are doing amazing. Nine points, six points ahead of Real Madrid. Can you believe it? Six points in front of everybody. But a win here would, like, I think, pretty much cement us top of the league. All right, lads. Here's the team. Sanabria is going up front. He's a saint. Of course, he's going up front. Amiri and Brand. After that amazing hat trick. Ward Prowse is going to come onto the right side for us. Um, I'm looking to whip some balls on this right-hand side. Whoever plays right-hand side doesn't really get involved that much. Chiesa, Brand is like my go-to man. It'd be nice to have a bit of variety from the right-hand side from Ward Prowse. Romeo and Gretzka in the midfield, of course, whenever away or away or against a strong team. I like to have the strong midfielders in there. I also want Bertrand, Hood, De Vries and Cedric in the defence. And Lafont is in goal. We've got a solid defence and a solid midfield, guys. This is why we're so strong. It's a generic stadium. But there's walls of red around, which makes it a little bit of a nice atmosphere. I mean, there must be there must be talk about Southampton around Europe now. Look at that. People be talking about Southampton, Southampton like, wow. They've beat Real Madrid. They've beat Benfica. They beat Schalke. They're going to win the Champions League. Great to be bold when it's raining. Nothing to worry about on your hair. Here's the Benfica side. Jimenez. Oh, there's that bloody Talisker again. He caused us no end of problems at home. He did. Luis Al, the experienced centre off in there. I'm hoping for a more simpler one today. But they are at their home ground. So they'll be much more confident. There you go. Gretzka. Here's Amiri. Oh no, it's opened up for Julian Brand. Oh no. Oh no, he scored already. <laughs> Julian. Oh, Julian. He's on fire. I need to give him a new contract. I need to pay him £300,000 a week. Because he is hotter than Cristiano Ronaldo right now. Give away the ball here and it just opens up. When will these people learn? You cannot run away if you're a right back and you're facing Julian Brand. He will destroy you. God, he's so good. Buy him, lads. Here's Gretzka driving forward. Beautiful driving run from Gretzka. They've got the wrong side of him there. Gretzka still going. Gretzka hits it. Ah, he's fucked the shot up, but so hard to stop once he gets going. It's like Yaya Torre in his prime. And Mary. Into Sanabria. Sanabria. Oh, that's a great cutback. Luis Al's on his case. It's a good block from him. And Cedric hits a shot. Oh, that's a good effort. Varela, strong hands that saves it. Amiri gets it wide into Gretzka. I see you run, Sanabria. I see you run. Touch it. He has touched it. It drags it too far wide for himself, though. 
Sanabria on the ball now. Sends it wide to Ward Prowse and he could find a cross. But he needs someone to cross it. Oh, that's a gorgeous pass. Oh, right, it had to be to Romeo. That's shit, Romeo. Amiri. Wide to Ward Prowse. If he can pick out Sanabria here, oh, it's a little bit hefty. Oh, Amiri's arrived. Oh, what a slot in. What a goal from Amiri. Ward Prowse has been providing some brilliant crosses today. And Amiri picks up the reward for one. It's not a great ball from Ward Prowse, but it's enough to cause problems in the box. And Amiri takes it gorgeously. Calmly opens his body up, slots it home. Right, 17th minute now. Oh, God, I've let Julian Brand get absolutely knackered. I should have brought him off a lot earlier. We'll play a bit of, bit of keep ball with Tadic on the pitch. We'll bring Lamina onto the, into the midfield. And we'll get Nagy on to spray some passes for us now. Here goes Sanabria. Lays it off. Gretzka back to Sanabria. No, no, no. I didn't want to hit the shot. It's a decent effort. Here's Fajizic. Oh, into Raul Cedric. Oh, he's hit it over. Fucking missed it. Easy chance for Raul. Sanab oh, Sanabri, please win it. Take the pressure off. Fucking hell, they've gone all out attack. They're coming for us. Oh, fuck's sake. Great finish there. They missed the bloody easy one. And then slam in a hard chance. 2-1, that's annoying. Move the ball around quite nicely. Taliska knocks it in the middle and it's a snapshot. Those snapshots I can never deal with, but 2-1. I expect we'll still win if the referee decides not to play 20 minutes extra time. Thank you, referee. Referee blows full-time whistle. Annoying to concede late on. And really, they only got chances towards late. But Sir Zootman has done a brilliant win here. Wow, Real Madrid smashed Schalke 3-0 at home. So, yeah, that's the, that's the result probably expected. Well, here we are. 12 points ahead of everybody else in this table. Um, we will have Real Madrid to play at home. That... If we lose that, that could put them to 9 points. And then if we were to lose to Schalke, and they would go to 12 points. And if they were to beat our goal difference, which it would be possible, uh, we would go through second in this tournament. But really, all we need to do now is pick up a draw against either Real Madrid at home or Schalke. Which, you know, I'd expect 3 points at home against Schalke. So we are probably going to go through top. Excellent stuff for our early part of our Champions League campaign. Right, I can try and address the CPU even more. I'm going to reduce this pass error down to 23. We're adjusting it a bit more. Um, I'm upping their acceleration to 1. They've got one better acceleration than me, which is a subtle change, but will be quite uh, noted in game. They've got one better pass speed. I'm putting the first cut con control error down to 35. Um, the shot error the shot error is pretty good. The shot error is the shots are mainly on target. They don't miss many, and it doesn't affect finesses. So when they finesse the ball, it's, it's irrelevant. We do have Chelsea away, though, and this will be a very big test, as we did lose them 3-1 last time we played them last season and that was on difficult if dif a different difficulty with different slider settings so you know if we get absolutely pummeled here i'm gonna be real upset oh my god the annoying thing about this game is that I exa i've absolutely exhausted brand oh dear lads it's, it's a mixed up team because we're pretty tired to is gonna go up front tadish returns to the number 10 position with cliver and chiesa going on the wings Nagy and goretzka are in the midfield with hood devry cedric and target do we want target yep we need target in there's a lot of tired bodies in that defence and Lafont is going in goal. My main trouble against playing teams like this, Chelsea, Arsenal, is the five-back system. I do struggle to get round it. Three physical centre-offs that are all pretty quick. It's especially hard to get in behind them. What they're going with today, the five-backs out. Rudiger, David Luiz, Aspilicueta, very strong. Marcus Alonso and Jao Cancelo, Jesus Christ, Kante Bakayoko. And that William Morata and Hazard up front, really strong Chelsea side. I am nervous. These boys have been in some great form though, capable of absolutely anything this team. So much so that we're toying around with sliders to try and get some decent competition against us. Here's Nagy, up to Chiesa. He's got the two hard tackling defensive mids after him. But he's done well and bloody hell, you get to this blue wall. And there is absolutely nowhere to go, but he's done really well to pull it back to Cedric. Who lifts it into the box and Sanabria managed to get head on that. Straight at Courtois though. There he goes, Clive at driving at Chelsea. Oh, puts his foot on it, spins it back into Nagy. Here's Tadic. Tadic knocks it back into Clive. Clive get enough space to hit the shot. Venomous effort, really good effort from Clive. Okay, free kick to Chelsea. Not too concerned. Oh no, I am concerned now that I've seen Alonso. If he's going to take it. Oh no 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 no. Oh god. Oh god, that's not the man you want to see on free kicks. William, he's got some good space for himself here. Back to Kante, who is not a threat. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> Kante has scored like two goals in his whole entire career. This is not fair. 
Here we go. De Vries to whip a ball into the box. Could this be the opener for us? Is it going to land for Tadic? It's going to land for Chiesa. Goretzka, can you turn your man to Sanabria? Oh, beautiful skill. No, Rudiger tackles. Fuck you, Rudiger. That was beautiful from Sanabria. Here's Goretzka. Up to Sanabria. Gets it wide to Tadic. And Chiesa. And Chiesa. Oh, Chiesa whips it to the back post. Clive scores. What a goal. Beautiful stuff. Chiesa and Clive at link up together. Chiesa's look good. Alonso's had a lot to deal with him today. Nice bit of skill. And he's done so well with that header. For a little man. Look at that. Dink. He's guiding it back across the goal into the net. What a finish. And even though he scored that goal, I'm going to sub him straight away. Going to get Nagy off too. And Tadic can get in the bin. As we're going to go try and see this game out now. As Chelsea come out as 12 minutes to hold on. Oh, excellent tackle from Lamina. That's why I love to bring him on at number 10. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kante's nicked it off Goretzka. That's not a good area. Uh-oh. 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 I've dived in a couple of times where I probably shouldn't have. Here's Bellarabi. Yo! Dangerous tackle. Oh, you fucking bastards. Chelsea counter and get the goal. Fucking hell. I dived in a couple of times there when I really should have been a bit more cautious. Yeah. Bellarabi comes on. New signing for Chelsea. Finds the right pass. Waits it out. And really, Lafont should have that. I know it's like a snapshot at him but his hands are there just fucking palm it away hello are we gonna nick one? Oh my god Sanabria 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 <laughs> rocket you don't give him that space Rudiger you don't do that mate it's Sanabria he's a king Romeo smashes it straight up to Sanabria turns Rudiger says see you later and he's got enough confidence to power it high hard past Courtois Oh, Sinabria, we love you. What a hero. This time, fucking hold on, lads. Stop diving in, Zootman. Head. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't believe... What? How the fuck have he scored that? That is shit, lads. That is absolute shit. Fucking hell. They're just a hopeless lump up the pitch. And they have scored within seconds. I am fuming. I am going to grab the front. Buy his bloody scruff and throw him into a shredder. How have they got this? Who's marking him? Oh, fucking shit. Go on. Go on, Sanabria. Oh, you fucking bastard, David Luiz. That is a phenomenal challenge. I was going to score. I know it. Oh, we've gone from fucking scoring against teams and being fucking great. Now we're fucking two goals in like fucking 30 seconds in the last seconds of the game. Oh, my God. I hate results like that. I'm so fucking angry about that. That is so fucking frustrating. What a dog shit way to fucking end that game. A two-all draw in the last fucking seconds. Virgil van Dijk has also returned to force team training now. So that is great news for us. Especially with the, the problems we had in defence last game. That was very frustrating. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode guys. Subscribe for more FIFA 18 career modes. I'm Zuman. Hope you have a great day.